Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is about lead form testing tool. So let's start the video and what we need to do here and don't forget to subscribe the channel please and also like this video because I'm creating this video again for you guys. So what we did here is for an example we go into our campaign and we have already created a lead form campaign here and we scroll down we will have we should have a lead home from here then we go there first so there is this so this is a lead form so there are two types of lead form connection the first one is the normal one here you just create a lead form and you start your campaign and you just start getting leads but you need to know if this lead form is working it's created correctly and once if someone fills out the form you will receive the lead in Facebook, not everywhere else in Facebook. So because you will receive the lead, you can directly download it from your Facebook. Lead manager, it should be like somewhere here. You can go in all tools and it should be somewhere here. And you can find it center here. Yeah. So you can collect all your leads from there or you can directly download from your ad manager. But this is, is, this is the basic lead form. You just create it, test it, and from the lead form tool, it says it's working. You just, you're good to go. You're good to go. You can just publish your campaign also. So don't worry about drop downs or anything. I will show you how it works, everything. And the second one is connecting your CRM. If you're working with the high level of any other CRM, you need to connect your CRM first. Because there were people who come in in the previous video that it helped them and it really like they have been searching for this this video and it really helped them because they have already set up everything connectly in their ad manager and they have already connected their API or CRM with Facebook ad manager. So this testing tool already working for them. If it's not showing you anything, it means if you are working with your CRM or you have a CRM connected with your Facebook, it means that your CRM is not connected well. So you need to set up the CRM there. You click on setup and it will give you different options. Collect the CRM so you can select all and any CRM you want to connect with. You can just simply start your setup here and connect your CRM. It will work perfectly fine. So what we'll do now, you can go to the lead form uh, testing. I will not open any link directly. I will show you how you go through Google. You just type lead form testing Facebook. Okay. This type it and you will show you the first link here. The top link here, just testing tool. Just click on it. Okay, because I'm not giving you the direct link because some of the direct link don't work. For many people it broke. So and sometimes it just don't work. So I'm just taking you directly into the matter form where they show everything how it works. But so many people say that it's on this page, it's only showing you how it works and uh, and explains about the form. But there's no link. There's a link I show you in the last last video. There is a link. You can see it here go to the testing tool it says it here so what you just need to do is just click on it you can see that it can i can click on it and there's a link here just, okay so when you click on it you will be here so now what you need to do this form you remember i show you this form this is not connected with any crm so this is the basic form you are not working with any crm you just created the lead form you just want the least you don't want to work with any crm or goha level or HubSpot or any other crm just created the campaign create the lead form and want to test it if it's working good if it capture lead or not you just select your page here select your form and click on create once you click on create, it will show you that your test lead has been sent. So to create a new lead, please read this one and create a new one. So it means that it's working already okay. So you can see that this is the basic form. It's working really well. Now, sometimes it happens that you have tested this form before and you forget and you came this to this page and again... So from the same URL and you want to test the form again so you what you do you just click on create lead and it will give you an error is that the lead has already been sent delete the previous one and create a new one so what you need to do here is just delete the lead form here and once you delete it you can reset the reset it okay now you can 
test the previous lead and the previous test will delete it from the server and you can create the new so you see you can test it now you can delete it again and once it shows you that the lead has been sent successfully it means that your lead form is working perfectly you don't need to do anything but if you do if you want to test and capture the test lead in your CRM that's a different thing you need to connect your CRM first for example I will show you one page where we have connected the CRM so here in this one this is a different page with a different form and now you can see that that before when we were testing that form the it was the basic form and that this section was not there because that form is not connected with the CRM or any API that's why it was not showing the box here this is the web subscription for the selected pages so we already have the subscription the CRM connected everything is connected in this page and in this lead form that's why it's showing us the web so now we are testing a different page a different lead form which is connected with the CRM so when I click the create lead here it will test the same it will do the same process test the lead but now here it will show me the track status because it is now sending the lead directly into the CRM which we have connected and it will show us that if the lead is sent to the CRM or not and give us the status and all the IDs so if we don't see the lead in our CRM we can use those numbers and check or track the lead in our CRM so it is some you can say this is this is some kind of proof Facebook providing us here that they have sent the lead to our CRM so there is no issue from the Facebook site Right. if you don't see the lead in your CRM it means you have some so you have done something wrong in your CRM and it is not connected properly or there is a web flow error or any other error so you need to check it here check it there so it always happens in the, B the debugging platform always provide you the proof that the send the data and you need to check where you get the data if it's not receiving successfully so this is the easiest process and I have explained you everything now you just see here the status success it means that this sent to the lead gen which we have already connected of the Koha 11 it sent the data over there if we check our CRM we have already received the test email over there we have just deleted it from here in future if we want we can easily test the lead again so I hope so I hope guys you understand how you can test your lead form in Facebook and this is the easiest way I can explain in and if you're still struggling with the process with the testing tool you can book a call with me or you can drop a comment I would love to help you out to understand the whole process